Hello everyone, today we're looking at the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Artline. This is the top of the line trim. You have all your amenities that you will find in the Tiguan. And I have to say, this is very similar to the Golf. has the same steering wheels are gold and a lot of the same knobs and buttons let's go ahead and turn on our headlights fog lights and hazards check out our exterior here are your wheels they are 19 inch 5 spoke alloy wheels this exterior color is known as deep black pearl now under the hood you do get a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine that produces 184 horsepower it is paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission I can't believe it how can Volkswagen put a little bitty tiny 2 liter turbocharged engine in such uh not a large vehicle but it's so large to have a little bitty two liter turbo but i have to say other than what other than that this suv is very amazing but i don't know about reliability though because um the 2018 tiguan had 10 recalls in 2018 so i'm not sure we'll buy it. it's really stylish and sleek but after our experience with our Volkswagens, I say wouldn't buy it, but still, such a nice, elegant vehicle. As you can see, here are all your seating controls, and the Tiguan does have a black leatherette interior known as Vtex Leatherette same seats as on our golf very similar and, then, and as you can see here are your gauges they're pretty similar to the golf gauges except they're a little different with your screen in the middle as you can see the tiguan does have a three spoke leather wraps steering wheel pretty adequate horn your 8 speed automatic transmission with sport mode if you pull down and manual shiftability you place into reverse you do get a backup camera with trajectory lines that do turn when you turn the steering wheel And you have all your steering mounted controls right here to interact with your screen right here in the middle and your very nice infotainment system so this little screen in the middle i'm very familiar with the golf has one that's very similar and it's r so easy to use like you just press a couple buttons and it takes you to the menu you want to it's it's such a nice little screen i like the colors I like how intuitive it is, how easy to use, and I think Volkswagen did a great job with the little screen. And you have all your information, economy, oil temperature, speed, gas mileage, all those things. You have your two air vents right here. Hazards. Your very nice sleek infotainment system. I really love the design. You have your media, phone. Voice commands. And this one does have navigation. Volkswagen makes really good navigation. Let me show you how easy voice commands is to use.
FM radio. FM frequency band. Please say the FM frequency. 91.3. Frequency 91.3 HD1. Simple, easy, awesome. Just how I like it. No complicated buttons anywhere, just very nicely laid out. Let's go ahead and test out our navigation here for a second. You can see it's the calculating the route. Your apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have dual zone automatic climate control. I really wish we both had dual zone. You have three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Two USB ports, an auxiliary jack, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Little coffee space to store maybe a smaller phone or your car keys. I wish they would have leather wrapped the shifter because the plastic on the shift now feels kind of cheap. Very nice backup camera. You have your electronic parking brake. I love electronic parking brakes. I don't know why. They just look so nice and I'm not worried if they break or not because I rarely use my parking brake. You have your auto start stop your parking sensors you can turn that on without putting the car in reverse like that you can see what's behind you before you switch gears little coffee space two cup holders a leather armrest really small not a lot of space but it's adequate not the best armrest though these seats are pretty comfy but after a, a little while they get uncomfortable your CD player and your glove box is a reasonable size. You also get your rear view mirror with three garage door settings. Your lighting controls up here, of course, they are LED lights. You could also control your rear lights from the driver's seat. And these two buttons right here are to control the sunshade so just press on it and it will automatically slide back it takes quite a while though as you can see it does let a lot of light in which is nice Huge fan of dual panoramic sunroofs. They just made the cabin feel much nicer. And they let a lot of light in, which is good. But if you don't want um, all this light to come in the cabin, you can just press a button and then this sunshade will come forward and cover the whole sunroof with that. You don't get as much light coming in if it's too bright outside. For me, the sun move is a must. Your lighting controls right here. Chrome pedals, since this is our line. And that's all for the main cabin. So let's go ahead and check out the second row. Very annoying beeping chime. I wish Volkswagen would have not put that it's so annoying but oh well that's a minor thing This particular one does have the bench seats, not the captain's chairs. And the seats lined up with the B pillar. I'm five foot six. 
and I have an immense amount of room back here. You have two pockets, your two air vents, and I believe the little plastic piece in the middle fell off. Typical Volkswagen. USB port, 12 volt power outlet, as well as a leather wrap armrest with two cup holders. I unfortunately lost the footage of the third row, but I can tell you that the third row is extremely cramped. And I think it was a horrible idea to put a third row in such a small vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out our cargo space. Power lift gate, of course. With the third row up, there isn't a ton of cargo room, but if you lower the seats, you're gonna have a plenty amount of space back here. You can fold the rear seats down with those little levers. Let's go ahead and close our trunk. I mean, with third row, barely any space. With the third row down, you have plenty of space. And that concludes the review of the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Premium R-Line. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.